Downloading even simple applications like Avery Wizard can have a few surprises. I left the surprises in so you can learn from them. I did speed up parts of the video that are not instructional. Remember, first you download the Avery Wizard application and then run the installation with several stops and security warnings along the way. Let's click on the free download button. Avery asks you to fill out the required fields and decide if you want emails from Avery. I'll speed this up. Click on Submit. Microsoft blocks the download to warn you of the security risk. Click here for options. Click download file. No need to save because you'll be able to automatically update the Avery Wizard when you run it. Click Run. I'll speed up the download. Click Run to get past Microsoft's security block. Since I use Google for all my searching, I unchecked both boxes and clicked Next. Click Next, accept the terms, and click Next. Click Next, click OK, click Next. Choose Complete Setup and click Next. Finally, click Install. I'll speed up the installation. Ignore this error message. The barcode feature has a known bug. I'll point this out later. Click OK. Click Finish. Microsoft Word opens up. I'm running Microsoft Word 2010. You should get a security warning. If so, follow the appropriate instructions to allow Avery macros to be installed in Word. The instructions for Microsoft Word 2010 and 2007 are shown here, and earlier versions here. In my case, I simply clicked on Enable Content. After installing the macros, click on the Avery tab and the Avery Wizard icon. We're just about there. Skip entering the personal data for now by clicking on Cancel. Finally, 
The opening screen for Avery Wizard. Don't be discouraged by the installation. The Avery Wizard is easy to learn. After printing a few labels, you'll be an Avery Wizard. Next, we'll take a closer look at the Wizard's formatting and graphics tools.